NASA has just made a surprising announcement that has sent shockwaves around the world. The agency has admitted that the Starship may not be ready in time for Artemis 3. With China hot on their heels, the future of lunar exploration hangs in the balance, as the Starship's failure could not only spell trouble for SpaceX, but have severe consequences for the entire international community. Stay tuned as we talk about the massive obstacles NASA and SpaceX must overcome, the delays they are dealing with, and how China could take advantage of the situation. NASA's recent news regarding a major shift in its plans for lunar exploration, particularly the decision not to use the Starship for landing on the moon, has raised worries about the future of SpaceX's ambitious endeavors for the Artemis mission, as well as a future Mars mission. The moon's south pole is a stunning place with tall mountains that are always lit by the sun. The lunar dust looks like fine powder and shines brightly in direct sunlight. There are deep craters in the area that stay dark all the time, hiding pockets of ice among the rocky surface. This frozen water has been untouched for an incredible three billion years. In this peaceful open space, NASA has a vision of landing a new team of astronauts, just like the ones who came before them. These explorers will put on their gear and step out for a walk, reuniting humanity with the moon's gentle embrace. However, the plans for this moon journey are facing uncertainty and could be delayed. During a briefing at the Kennedy Space Center on August 8th, Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration and Systems Development, said that the Artemis III mission is still planned for a launch in December 2025. But he also mentioned that he's closely watching for possible issues and making sure all the necessary equipment is ready for the mission. Mr. Free didn't go into details about what exactly might cause changes in the Artemis III mission schedule. Back in June, there were worries about the Starship being introduced a bit later than expected and uncertainties about how the lunar lander would work practically. These worries included things like the tankers needing to refuel in space, making sure the Starship lands properly on the moon and getting cryogenic propellant up into space. However, they're ready with backup plans for every possible situation. If there are any delays with the Starship, they have similar missions that can take its place as potential alternatives. Specifically, the plans for Artemis 3 might change based on how things go with Artemis 2 and the advancements they make. SpaceX's lunar landing version of the Starship, which they're working on as part of NASA's contract, is meant to handle things in lunar orbit. It's supposed to help astronauts move between the Orion spacecraft and the moon's surface and make sure they can get back safely. This whole process depends on NASA's expensive SLS rocket working out well and the Orion capsule doing its job right. However, things don't look too positive for the Artemis II mission either. The Orion capsule's final design isn't ready yet and they're looking into how well its heat shield performs, which might slow down the moon mission. On top of that, building the SLS rocket has hit some problems because of various issues that haven't been explained in detail. This situation shows that the project might not be fully prepared for NASA's intended Artemis II launch. If Artemis II isn't moving forward as planned, it also raises questions about whether the Orion spacecraft and the SLS rocket will be ready for Artemis III. As for SpaceX, there are significant challenges ahead to meet the requirements of the Artemis III mission. Jim Free stressed how important it is for both SpaceX and NASA to have several successful launches. It's necessary for SpaceX to do well in their launches, including the ones coming up soon, because it's a big part of making the whole mission successful. After that, there's a plan for Starship to land on the moon without people on it before they actually send astronauts. NASA is also being careful about how the launch of the Starship might affect the development of the Axiom spacesuit. This is because they need the Starship to be finished before they can design the right suits that are compatible for the astronauts on board. If the spacesuits or the Starship's progress gets delayed, they might have to change the order of the missions. But even with these challenges, having a big aerospace company like SpaceX working on it provides a level of optimism and confidence. The first time Starship launched into orbit might not have looked perfect at the beginning, but it was actually a very important step in SpaceX's progress. This launch showed NASA what Starship could do in future projects that involve tackling difficult technologies, both in space and beyond. This was clear when NASA visited Starbase recently and saw the revolutionary technologies that Starship will be incorporating into its upcoming missions. Moreover, SpaceX has given NASA an updated timeline in response to their questions. However, Jim Free mentioned that they would carefully go over it and make changes as needed. This suggests that NASA still has some doubts about SpaceX's Starship. It's not clear if these doubts come from real worries or if they're trying to hide their own delays. The complicated links between different parts of the mission could also be causing delays. Problems with funding for the SLS and issues with both the SLS and the Orion capsule being unstable are likely big reasons why NASA's plan to go back to the moon is moving slower than expected. The importance of the Starship going to the moon becomes even more crucial because it's the key factor in deciding who's ahead in the race between the US and China in lunar exploration. Even though not everyone agrees that it's a competition, the term race is often used by US politicians like NASA's current head, Bill Nelson. This term is used widely, and it's talked about a lot in the news all over the world. This shows that many people might think of sending humans to the moon as a kind of contest. If China gets humans on the moon before the US, they could say they own it, like what they did in the South China Sea. 
If China manages to do that, it might make a lot of people around the world see them as a major leader. It could show off the strengths of their government system. On the other hand, the United States is actively bringing together different countries to agree on something called the Artemis Accords. This agreement is about working together peacefully and cooperatively in space. However, China has chosen a different path from the 28 countries that have joined these accords. They're standing out with their own approach to space exploration. The country's refusal to join these accords has raised alarm, and many speculate that they intend to stake an independent claim on the lunar surface. This is mainly because the moon has something very valuable on it, water ice that's trapped there. This ice is especially plentiful at the moon's south pole. Because of this, the competition to explore the moon has become very intense and unlike anything we've seen before. Unlike the bright landing spots where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin touched down, pictures of the moon's south pole show many deep craters that stay in constant darkness due to the angle of the sun. A lot of these craters form from volcanoes and have remained hidden in darkness for millennia. Inside these dark craters, there are layers of ice that could be an extremely precious commodity. This ice might be really useful for making rocket fuel and providing drinking water for future space trips. Nelson has emphasized how important this is for the whole world and the far-reaching implications of the mission. If we find a lot of water there, it could help the people and spacecraft going to the moon in the future. The goal is to make sure that these resources are available to everyone, instead of just being claimed by one group. As the future of the SLS and Orion capsule remains shrouded in mystery and the Starship is currently behind schedule, it seems China is poised to take advantage and be the first to stake a claim on the lunar surface. Do you think NASA and SpaceX can step up their game and get to the moon by 2025? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.